Hello everyone. So now we have come to the fourth topic of team dynamics, which is team building and development. Here we're going to talk about firstly team building and then we'll see the various models of uh, team building, the various models uh, which have been, which are very, which are very famous and which have been uh, followed by organizations. So team building activities facilitate strong work teams within the organization for reaching organizational goals. Now, this is known as mainly the best method. So why is it the best method? Because all the organizational members here are allowed to work together and utilize their skills to reach the mission of the organization. What this does is it generates synergy and coordination as well as cooperation among the members. So the organization should give team-based assignments and rewards for encouraging teamwork. And this is what is discussed in the uh, next unit. So for here to summarize, process consultation, third party intervention and team building are some of the interventions of group development. Process con what happens in process con consultation is you we generate good relations with the client to understand the events that occur in the internal uh, and external environment of the client to improve the situation. And the third party in intervention, what they do is they use arbitration, mediation and alternative options and methods to solve conflicts. So the present organization, uh, the present scenario, what the organization does is they encourage teamwork. They expect teamwork from the employees to overcome severe competition in the industry. So business organizations design the organizational structure, encouraging teamwork and team rewards. This unit explains about developing so uh, successful teams in an organization. So, you know, team building is a very important activity, right, of a manager in the organizations. So building high performance team involves choosing team members based on the goal to be achieved, right? So different team models exist in the literature involving, uh, yeah, uh, like the just as i said involving different models like Belbin team building building model and where thompson model the three stage model of team process etc so let's start with the Belbin team building model as per Belbin, each individual assumes uh, some role uh, where they work and, and how they work with others so based on this he identified eight different roles a team should have the alongside figure is showing you the eight different roles. These are uh, a person might be a plant, a resource investigator, a monitor, evaluator, a coordinator, a team worker, completer, finisher, completer, finisher, specialists, shaper, or implementers as well. So what are these? Like we just named some types of people and what are the team building roles they are. But what exactly is a plant? What exactly is a coordinator? What exactly is a resource investigator? That we do not know. So I'll tell you that also. So plants are innovators and very highly creative people and they love to work on new ideas and they are introverts and they have difficulty to mingle with others. This may be impractical and they, they can be used for developing new proposals but are very simple. But these people, you know, they are very sensitive to criticism and they are not very compatible with a lot of people then second we have resource investigator so these people are really good at communicating with others and they can extract new ideas from others as they are very good at interpersonal skills such people need to be appreciated for successful performance and they can identify new opportunities really quickly outside and get along well with other members of the team as well then comes monitor evaluator what they do, these people are you know, very strong in uh, the aspect of analyzing any issue. They can choose the best solution out of all the possible solutions and the problem solving skills. And they are impartial in the decision making as they see the pros and cons of the problem and give solutions accordingly. Then we have coordinators. So what do coordinators do? Usually they are great at team building and uh, like keeping everyone's motivations high and team spirits high. So they, these people uh, serve as a cohesive force in the team. They can, you know, uh, outrightly spot the best talents and use them to for achieving the team objectives. And they can work with all the members of the teams. Then next we have shapers. So what are, who are shapers? 
shapers are usually those who are good uh, achievers and who can manage any situation and they can win in spite of any problem in achieving a goal and they their aim for achievements can even make others to reach the goal they will not only encourage themselves they will be so positive and task driven that they will not only look for their achievement but they'll also may uh, ask others and keep like you know motivating others to reach their goals and they generate positive energy in the group and they can be really good team leaders then comes implementers so these people are really loyal selfless systematic and organized and they can generate project from ideas and they really mingle well with the coordinator then comes team workers so these people have really good interpersonal skills and they maintain harmony in the team and they have concern for others and are you know compatible for all the, with all the team members and they can adapt to any situation and solve conflicts among the team members so complete then we have complete the finisher who are complete the finisher so they are good at meeting schedules they dislike doing a task which they are not able to complete on time and they like to do all the work by themselves they do not want to be dependent on anyone and plus they can also adapt to any situation and solve conflicts among the team members then we have uh yeah and they and these people like complete finisher they work really well with monitor evaluator and plants then we have specialists so specialists people are usually you know uh, technical people who have specific skill sets and they are important for some special assignments but their work you know cannot be extended beyond their area of uh, specialization and they will not be able to work beyond their area of specialization they work well with the shaper implementer and monitor evaluator so uh, this is uh, what the uh belbin team building model looks like the next stage model the next model which i'll tell you is a three stage model of team process by thoms given by thomson it has three phases firstly formation development and renewal in the first stage of the formation of the process the team uh, frames the rules and regulations of the operation the goals are set like as to what has to be achieved what was the what is the aim of this group and everything then the team uh, performs and the members engage in tasks to achieve the goals in the second stage of development so the second stage is development here what they do like uh, the after the goal is set the teams are formed and you know, the people start to engage with each other and start doing tasks which are uh, which which will lead to the uh, accomplishment of the predetermined a uh, goal which we did in the first stage and then in the last stage the team starts preparing for new tasks and get gets ready to face new challenges so this is a three stage model of team uh, given by thomson then we come to the three dimensional team model this has been developed uh, in 2006 and it incorporated belbin team uh, roles individual characteristics plus the environment so it uses the personal characteristics like personalities types of uh, organizational values mission goals uh, to execute the team work as per this model if we study deeply into it the team goal will be at the top incorporating the values mission and goals of the organization so uh, these will be on the top uh, team roles will be in the middle show the roles of the team members and in relation to the uh organizational environment team evaluation will form the base of the model incorporating team development so team evaluation includes maintaining personal relationship among the team members and introducing the knowledge and skill to the members to improve their competence for executing the team work so to summarize this to summarize the topic of team building and development and the models which we just uh, learned about is that belbin team roles and uh, and their pyramid model which is thomson's three stage model of team process and the three dimensional model of uh, thomson are some of the models of team development team role is an inclination to perform devote and coordinate in a specific way and belbin team roles are plans uh, i will just go over what we uh, studied in the first team model of belbin there are uh, different kinds of team roles like plants work uh, team workers implementers resource investigators coordinators monitor evaluators finishers 
specialist shapers okay then we got the three stage model of team development which has the three stages as formation development and renewal phases then we got into the three dimensional team model where uh, the team development has team goals team roles and development so with this we come to the end of the topic 4 of unit 4 which talked about the team building and development so uh, see you in the next video where we will be completing uh, this uh, unit 4 with the last topic being as uh, power and politics so uh, until then happy learning thank you